So I didn't want to spend 50 bucks on a uh, router circle guide. I traced my router plate. And then I put the center mark where my router hole is going to go. And I measure from there. I have an 8 inch hole, 9 inch hole, 10 inch, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are all trues. And uh, now I have my 9.5 inch. I want to make a 10 inch sub. 11.5, I want to make a 12. 14.5, I want to make a 15. I understand that some are like 9 and 3 eighths or 11 and 3 eighths. That's pretty freaking close. That's going to be alright. Um, and if I want, I can make another line going up doing quarters if I want. So, I don't know, I may, I may do that, I'm not sure. Yep, so that's what it looks like. Get everything cut out. Make sure all the holes are lined up. I got the writing on this side. I accidentally put this side down, so I'm going to hand transfer everything to this side. Yeah, so to make a perfect cover, all I do is put a, put a nail through it. It's a cheap way of doing it. If you don't want to spend 50 bucks, to get like a router guide that Steve Mead has. Uh, I think it's like 47 dollars. So I need to do is make this right here. So there it is. This is my first ever cut, and that's the only place I really messed up right there. But I wanted to cut out 10 inches. Look at that. 10 inches. So, you know, I still have my nail sticking out right there. A 10 inch spot. So it turns out my measurement was correct. So, like I said, that's where I, right there is where I had to send it down in there and then start turning. So, hey, that's a perfect circle. And all for scrap of wood.